Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and today we're going to show you how to turn a portrait into a painting. Step one is to open up the photo art layout. And when I do this, I not only get this palette, but I also get some extra controls on the property bar. And I'd like to begin by cloning the image. So we now have a new document and our clone source was the original image that we had open. So from here, I'm gonna to go to AI Styles and choose Soft Portrait. And there's our end result. Now we can tweak this in any way that we might like. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe add a little more strength, take the color match to 100, and I'd like less smoothing of the image because I want this to be a kind of artistic version of the original portrait. All right, perfect. Now from here, let's go ahead and apply. So that applies to our current document. And now I'm gonna go to underpainting. I'm gonna take the brightness down a bit because it's blown out some of the colors and let's increase saturation and maybe a little increased contrast. All right, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the current document. Now from here, I'm gonna do a little work on the background. If I go to the blenders, I'm gonna choose Diffuse Blur and you can size your brush up on the property bar or you can use Control or Command Alt to click and drag within the document to size this up. So I'm gonna go in the direction that the strokes originally were placed. And we're just gonna do a little work on blending this out. The smaller the brush, the more detail you're gonna bring in. And the larger the brush, the more it's gonna be doing blending of the pixels, so keep that in mind. So I'd like to kind of diffuse the background out and then maybe some of the elements within the portrait itself. And then we're going to come back and do a little fine tuning. Next, what I would like to do is a little clone tinting. So let's go ahead and select these brushes here. And I'm going to choose the soft tint cloner. And I'll just sample a color from within the image. And I'm going to size the brush up. And then I'm going to, you know, just add a little darkness into some of the areas that got too light. Okay, so from here, let's experiment with some other brushes, a bristle. And this one might be nice if I wanna sample and just kind of bring out a little bit of hairy aspect here and there. So I'll go ahead, come over here. Let's try another one. How about Tint and Blend Sargent? So if I go ahead and zoom in for you, we're gonna leave that face, you know, kind of grungy the way that you see it there. And this brush is leaving, it's creating little hairs so we can kind of, you know, blend and bring out the front of the hairline if we want to. But really from here, what you decide to do is your own choice. You can continue to blend or add extra elements to the artwork, or you can leave it as is, but you could see how quickly we were able to transform this photo into a work of art. And, and it just happened in a matter of minutes. So I hope you enjoy the new AI styles and our clone tinting brushes and have some fun.